Welcome back guys, my name's Gareth, this is Tech Check. This week, I wanna give a huge shout out to Mega Wheels for sending out their A6 electric scooter. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna test it, and then we're gonna give you the lowdown. Is it actually worth a purchase? Let's do this. As always, we'll give a quick look round the outer packaging and give you an overview of the product. We've got a bit more information on the back, so we've got a smart scooter with an app, and we'll touch on that intuitive app a little bit later on in the video. It's got a max kilometers of 25 in terms of battery life, gyroscope auxiliary drive, IPX5, which is always a benefit, especially if you live here in the UK. It's always nice to have something electric and water. They don't mix, so being waterproof is absolutely fantastic. It's got built-in BMS battery protection, and then it's got these nine inch vacuum explosion tires as well. In other words, puncture-proof tires, which is always a benefit. Let's open it up, let's see what we get inside. Always my favorite bit, opening boxes. Ooh. We'll put the stand on. And there we have it guys. Everything that was in that box, right in front of us. Nothing too extravagant. We've got our mounting hardware, we've got our UK plug and charger, and then we've also got our assembly and installation guide as well. For you eagle-eyed viewers, on the box, Mega Wheels included a one to six guide, easily assemble guide, and it says it can be done in two to three minutes as well. So without further ado, let's get this assembled and we'll go through some of the features as well. So we can match up the two arrows, which are just there. Push them right together so they're right next to each other. All we're gonna do now is put our handlebars onto our stem and line them up with the two screws on this side and the two screws on this side. We'll take the included Allen wrench. I'm just gonna do one on one corner and then one on the diagonal on the other side. And then we can finish off with the other two. And then to seat it in its upright position so you can actually ride it, you can unlock it, fold up the handlebars, and then this catch just locks into position. And we're good to go. So here we have it guys, we've got our a6 in the back of a normal Model 3 Tesla. Just take this out, pop it down. A quick snap. So here we have it guys, we've got the A6 from Mega Wheels. You might recognize this place. We bought the Tektron Pro 3500 to the exact same spot. So we're gonna run it on the grass. We've got a bit of off-roading, we've got some Good bit of tarmac here as well. We've got a big hill that we're gonna test it, this 250 watt motor, see if it stands up to the test. Eben, are you ready to give it a go? Yes, I'm really excited. Three mile an hour, four, four, three. It is getting up there. Oh, we're picking up four, three. Oh, four miles an hour, three miles an hour. Uh. Ah. 
So what's the overall thoughts then, Evs? Do you like this one or the Pro 3500? I'd like this one better. This one better? Yes. So the reasons for that, you said that the brakes stop you and you feel a little bit more safer. Yep. And whether or not this is a positive or negative, there's not as much acceleration straight away on the Mega Wheels A6 compared to the Pro 3500, yeah? yeah. So this one's a little bit slower. Yeah. Yeah? I like it slower. You like it slower. Yeah. So we'll get this one back to the cabin now mm -hmm. and then I'll give you a rundown on my thoughts as well. So we finally made it back to the cabin, guys. We're a little bit worse for wear. We've got a bit of dirt here and there, but nothing that's going to hurt it. So myself and Eben's giving it a good run out. We've done about a mile. Circles here, there and everywhere. Grass, concrete, up, downhill. And I think we've given it a fair run out. So I want to break this section down into five or six different parts, give you a rundown on the features and benefits of the A6 from Mega Wheels and share my opinions with you. So kicking off things guys, so this particular A6 model supports up to a 250 watt motor. It's got a max speed of around 15 miles an hour and can carry an adult up to around 220 pounds. So I didn't have any issues on this particular scooter on the straights. Next up, let's talk about lights and safety guys. And this is feature packed when it comes down to safety. So let's start with a headlight. It's got a really bright headlight on this guys. It's actually actuated by one press of the power button and then a press again will turn it off. And I'm really, really pleased with how bright that particular light is. In terms of the lighting on both sides, which is something really, really new and I'm not seen on any other scooters, when you're actually riding the scooter and you tilt left or you turn right, the lights on either side of the scooter will light up, indicating which side you're actually moving. Moving on to reflectors, you've also got one reflector on this side and another on the front. And there again, you've got two reflectors on each side and then you've also got one at the rear as well. In terms of braking, you've got a drum brake on the front, which is actuated by this particular handle here. And then it's also assisted by an electronic brake at the back, which can be altered in the app. And I'll show you that a little bit later. Now, another good thing about this scooter is it is IPX5 rated as well. So it's heavily water resistant. So you've not got any issues with regards to using it in the rain. And not only that, when it comes to cleaning, you can get the jet wash or a hose pipe on it, give it a good wash down as well. Another key feature, guys, is how portable this A6 model is. As you can see, it folds down into a really nice tight space. You saw me taking it out of my Tesla car and putting it back in. Really, really straightforward. It stores away really nicely. It weighs 15 kilos, so you don't want to be carrying it for too many long distances, but it just fold down into a nice small package so you can put it even in the smallest of cars. In terms of assembly time, guys, really, really straightforward. Taking it out of the box, twisting the handlebars, removing all the packaging, installing six screws, sliding in the handlebars, and then clamping it in place. Three to four minutes and you're ready to go. Charge time shouldn't put you off either. This actually came with 40% charge already on delivery. I actually charged it up for about two and a half hours from 40% and we managed to get it to 100% and that is indicated by the lights that are on the actual charger as well. I think there's two other honourable mentions here that made this A6 a really nice scooter to ride. The first being these nine inch puncture proof tyres made it running along concrete and especially the uneven surfaces really, really easy. The second thing is this baseboard here. Not only is it quite wide, so you feel like even my size 11s I got on here absolutely fine. This particular rubber surface made sure that even in wet weather, it was easy to keep control and keep your feet on here as well. So from a safety point of view, that really stood out. And then the last couple of things, guys, I love the fact that it comes with a really sturdy spring loaded uh, stand here. Nice addition. Just when you want to get off and want to put it down, comes in really handy. The last thing to mention is also the charger. That's actually sealed up the top, which is here. It comes with a rubber grommet and you can just take that out and then your charger will go nicely into here with no issues, no problems. Moving on to the app, guys, something that I really, really like. Very cleverly, 
what Mega Wheels have done is they put a Q code on the top of the actual stem of the handlebars, which allows you just to scan the Q code and it takes you straight through to either Android or Apple and then you can download their app as well. Once you've downloaded the app, we can click on top of it. That will take you into the home screen of this Liquid Smart app. And this is something, guys, that I do really, really like. And I think it's really, really straightforward. So the home page indicates our current battery level. It indicates how many miles we've got left on the current battery. On the actual total mileage of the actual scooter itself. And indicates the riding time as well. At the bottom, we've got device, record, and then our personal settings. So if we actually click on record, it will tell us that we've done 1.3 miles in total. You can then click on your own profile. You can change the password. You can actually bind the app to a different e-scooter. You can clear all the cash and so on and so forth. By clicking on the scooter, you can then go into all the different settings in here. So you can set a nickname, you can change the picture of your scooter, you can change the speed limit, you can turn off null start. And that's something to be known here, guys. If you're pulling down on when you first get your scooter and you're pushing down on the accelerator, expecting it to actually move, unless you've got null start actually turned on, your scooter won't go anywhere. If you have got null start uh, off, then you'll need to actually apply some pressure and the accelerator and push off, and then the actual motors will kick in. Here you can change your units, whether you want your energy recovery intensity. So in other words, guys, it will slow you down with that electronic brake the higher you have it. So on energy recovery, you've actually got high, medium or low. My little lad preferred it on high because obviously the front brake is quite powerful. By having that electronic brake assist, it means that you come to a more steadier stop quickly as well. And overall, I just think it's quite an intuitive app really user friendly and to be quite honest with you i find it really really easy to use which is one of the reasons why i really like it so let's talk about recommendations guys in fact let's talk about how it compared to the tektron pro 3500 because in terms of cost this is actually 319.99 in terms of dollars it's around 260 pounds i'll leave a link down in the description if this is something that you've been looking at picking up yourselves so in terms of the comparison with the Pro 3500, is it as powerful? The answer is no. It says it's got the same top speed, but it's got a less powerful motor. Now, in some instances, like my little boy, he preferred that because he didn't want that harsh acceleration and he felt a little bit more secure utilizing the A6 rather than the Pro 3500. Whereas because I weigh twice the weight of my son, when I pressed the accelerator, even when I had it in the high mode, I didn't really feel that, well, that instant power that you would want to feel being a little larger. This actually paid evident when I was trying to get up that 30% incline. With it only having a 250 watt motor, it really, really struggled. So if you live in a hilly area and it's not flat, then and if you're someone of my size, this is going to struggle, guys. And this is where being open and honest and transparent is really, really important. Because if you're going to be using this and you live in a flat area and you're going to be either using it as a, a leisure uh, e-scooter or if it's for a son or teenager or something like that, then it's going to be absolutely fine in flat areas. If you're looking at taking it off-roading or you live in hillier areas, then, yeah, for me... I felt that this really lacked power trying to get me up that hill and I don't feel confident pointing across to you guys that it will go here, there and everywhere, especially if you weigh 14, 15 stones and you've got to go up 25, 30% inclines because whilst it got me up there, it ran all the way down to around three miles an hour. With that being said though guys, for a 250 watt motor, you can't really compare that to the Pro 3500. I'm only comparing it due to cost uh, because that has a 350 watt motor and a peak power of 700 watts. So you could really, really feel the difference in terms of power. In terms of rideability, I would say this was a little bit more comfortable. I felt like this one was really well made. It's slightly lighter than the Pro 3500. 
It was easy to keep your feet on the actual baseboard. I love the fact that it's got these safety lights. So whether you're driving it in the day or at night, you're gonna feel a little bit more comfortable. The headlight was fantastic and all of the features added up together. I felt like the Pro 3500 was quicker. It will last longer but this one was a little easier to ride and that was the consensus of my 10 year old as well. So the question is guys, would I recommend the A6 from Mega Wheels? And the answer is yes, but in certain situations guys. So I would say that if you're looking to pick one up for either your 10 to 16 year old, or maybe you're an adult on the smaller side that's looking to do a smaller commute, that's not looking to go up any hills and is not looking to get there in a double quick time, then this will get you there safe, sound, and it's gonna be really comfy to actually drive, guys. So I have no quarrels with regards to recommending it for $319.99 in terms of dollars, around £260. For what you get, I think it's a really, really good deal and you won't be disappointed. If on the other side, you're looking for a little bit more power, you're looking to actually feel that you are being carried by the scooter and maybe you're a little bit on the larger side, then the Tektron Pro 3500 is another good viable option. I just feel like this one is built a little better. There's a bit more safety in mind and the app is a little bit easier to use with everything straightforward. So that brings us to the end of the review, guys. A big shout out to Mega Wheels for sending their A6 out for review. A quick reminder, these are my own thoughts and my own opinions. It's not a paid review. If you are interested, I will leave links down in the description so you can go and check them out yourself. Maybe you're looking at a more powerful motor. Maybe you're looking for a larger scooter. Maybe your budget differs. Then Mega Wheels have got you covered across their whole range as well. So go give them a quick look and see what they've got to offer. Guys, I'm hoping that you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll leave the Pro 35 e-tron review up there as well so you can check that one out. Have a great weekend. Take care.